Hey everyone, it's Sarah Gallagher here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing one of my most embarrassing middle school stories. I know, I know, it's been a while since I've shared one of these stories, but trust me, this one is worth it. So let me set the scene for you. It was a typical day in seventh grade, and I was feeling pretty good about myself. I had just gotten a new iPhone, and I was obsessed with Tekken specifically, Lily, I mean, who wouldn't love that fierce and feisty fighter. But my obsession with Lily wasn't just limited to playing the game. Oh no, I took it to the next level. I had wallpapers of her on my iPhone, I wrote fanfiction about her, and I even drew pictures of her in my notebook. And that's where the trouble started. You see, I had been bullying by this one girl, Rachel, for weeks. She would tease me about my clothes, my hair, and even my interests. But the final straw came when she discovered my iPhone and saw my obsession with Lily. She snatched my phone from me and started posting all over social media about how I was obsessed with the video game character. I was mortified. I mean, who wants their secret passion posted all over Instagram and Snapchat for everyone to see? But that wasn't even the worst part. After she posted all that stuff, she threw my iPhone on the floor and broke the screen. I was like, new, my precious iPhone. And that's when I realized I had learned a valuable lesson. To always be true to myself, even if that means being different from others, and to never let anyone bring me down. So I was standing there feeling embarrassed and humiliated when Rachel dropped my phone on the floor. I mean, it was like she wanted to break me, not just my phone. But as I looked down at my broken phone, something inside me clicked. I realized that I didn't have to let Rachel's bullying get to me. I didn't have to let her define my self-worth. So I took a deep breath, picked up my phone, and walked away. I didn't say a word to Rachel. I just ignored her and went to my next class. And let me tell you, it was liberating. I felt like I had finally taken control of my own life, my own happiness. But the best part was yet to come. When I got home from school, I realized that my phone was still working, even with a broken screen. And I had an idea. And I started a YouTube channel right then and there. I started creating content, sharing my passions, and connecting with others who shared my interests. And let me tell you, it was life-changing. I found a community of people who accepted me for who I was, broken phone and all. So I thought starting a YouTube channel would be the end of my problems, but little did I know, it was only the beginning. I started receiving comments and messages from people who didn't like my content, who thought I was weird for loving Tekken and Lily. They would call me names, say I was obsessed, and even threaten to hack my account. I was like, what? Why are you doing this? I'm just sharing my passion. But the worst part was when they started sharing my personal information online. They would post my address, my phone number, and even my school schedule. I was like, this is getting out of hand. I tried to ignore it, to block them out, but it was hard. I felt like I was being attacked from all sides. And the worst part was, I didn't know how to make it stop. I felt like I was all alone, like no one understood what I was going through. But then I realized I wasn't alone. There were others out there who had gone through the same thing. And that's when I decided to speak out. I decided to share my story to let others know that they're not alone. And that's what I'm doing here today. So I decided to speak out to share my story with the world. And that's what I'm doing here today. I'm sharing my story, my struggles, and my triumphs. I'm sharing my passion for Tekken and Lily and I'm sharing my journey with cyberbullying. It hasn't been easy, but it's been worth it. I've connected with so many amazing people, people who understand what I'm going through, and I've learned that I'm not alone. So if you're out there and you're going through something similar, know that you're not alone. Know that there are people who care, people who understand, and know that you can get through it. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been a really hard video to make, but it's been really important to me. I hope you guys can relate, and I hope you guys can relate 
and I hope you guys can learn from my experiences. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again, guys. This is Sarah Gallagher, and I'll see you in the next video.